guys, it, it's a time, and I'm not going to go on about it. I wrote a poem today. This poem is called Blackout. It's a new poem, and it's for you guys. Here we go. 2020 is supposed to represent perfect vision. Coincidentally, cultures be on courses of collision, forcing one people into actions of division, debating, demonstrating, or getting down with demolition. Coming through clearly on the coattail of COVID. Same old story, gonna put you in the novid. Gonna stop a running man, click, bang, go did. But nothing really rocked us like the death of G floated. Don't believe the hype or the news or the lie. For every day, my brother from another mother die. Lovingly, I kissed her. Goodbye, for I missed her. Every day, we lose a sister from another mister. Death be done in daylight so that everybody saw another modern lynching under Jim Crow law. The Wu had always warned us, better get your shit in check. Cause even though I got your back, you best protect your neck. I'm shaking when I show my wallet or even cash a check. I know this cop is gonna call it. His life was under threat. Popping off his pistol like the bullet on the deck. My brain in his ballistic gonna have a tete tete a situation might arise that you did not expect immediately in their eyes now you looking suspect though now we live in freer we also live in fear for we know mr officer is also overseer check the etymology my message moving clear spectacular vernacular puts vision on the veer he's the long arm of the law he's the law of the land He's the leading cause of black death. He's the bubonic man. He's the bully in the bonsa. A monkey man in dress. With key and cock, this monkey enough lock up your hand and stress. Even if you see your day in court, it's on full court press. Next, they put the fullness of your life upon duress. The first line of authority in the man master plan. A cop can kill you quicker than the average con can. With riot gear and weaponry. With steel toe boots to step on thee, the spawn of criminality enhanced by new technology. Rounding up the black sheep, Seth did the herder. Slaughter in the streets is now akin to man and murder. Kellered by the flashbang above the gun clatter. Tell me how you gonna hear that black lives matter. There is no denying this priority is higher. Historically, it's never white lives coming under fire. This land of opportunity, all built for one community. Instead of seeking unity, shall punish with impunity. The reasons for our marching are their methods and their madness. Honoring our elders who fought hard but never had this. Power of assembly and of gathering and speech. Blacks, they couldn't even step a foot on Whitey's beach. Now we making moves and moving mountains, mobilizing. Raising fists around the world to garnish globalizing. And sometimes in the same way, we all find truth fiction wary. Number 45 is rolling out the military. The military marches. The marching turns to mobbing. The mobbing needs a muting. But now it's turned to robbing. The robbing got relentless and led to all the looting. So number 45, he simply said, just start the shooting. Holding up a Bible to condone his ill behavior. Acting like a judge, jury, sentinel, and savior. Encroaching with his evil up until 11th hour. He ain't the only one who must be parted from their power. Hands on law, fists on flex, guns on draw, knees on necks. Hands on law, fists on flex, guns on draw, knees on necks. Impossible to make a stand when pinned down to the floor. I'd ask my brother Patrick Chan, but he ain't here no more. We lost him 20 years ago, exactly to this plight. And even though they snuffed him out, we still can see his light. Legislation lacking, and we gotta lift the lack out. Politic and politic tricking plans, we gotta back out. Freedom fighters falling into floss and forced to black out. So join me when I say that every day gonna be a blackout.